Hi everyone, welcome to the unboxing and first impressions of the July checked trunk. We did a lot of research on other trunk luggages before deciding to go with July, so stay tuned to see if we're happy with our purchase. We put through our order online with free delivery. But prior to that, we've seen the carry-on trunk in their Melbourne store and the check trunk in the Sydney store just to be 100% sure which one we preferred. Opening the box, the luggage comes in a dust bag and a message from the brand. We timed our purchase with a cruise we're going on in a couple of days, so we're excited to start packing. It's a nice touch to have a dust bag included. In the past, we used really large David Jones or Maya plastic bags to store away our luggage. And you can also buy dust covers from Amazon, but even better when these drawstring cloth ones come with. Similar to Remoa, which of course is the other brand we were thinking of for a trunk. But after weighing out the pros and cons on competing brands, we went with July. I'm not sure if Samsonite and other brands come with dust bags now. We haven't purchased a checked in luggage in years, so things may have changed since. And here it is. The black color is currently available in matte only, which is perfect because we didn't want a glossy finish on our luggage. Let's take a closer look. Got the hinges at the back with the July branding. And the feet on the hinge side, so this is where it'll sit when placing the bag on the scales at airport check-in with the latch locks facing upwards. And then moving up, we've got one carry handle here and the telescopic handle with 20 height multi-stops. So I'll test that out later. Down here are five little feet to lay the trunk down when opening and closing. I find that the height and shape of a trunk allows for easier movement of the luggage using just the top handle compared to other luggages. The 360 spinner double wheels are so smooth. Granted that the trunk is empty right now and we're testing this on towels, but this is July's proprietary Silent Move trademark wheels that are meant to quietly glide across any surface. The minimal and sleek design is a winner and one of the reasons why we went with July. Adjusting the telescopic handle was way easier than Remoa and Samsonite in my experience. The one touch button easily releases and stops at any point, which is very helpful for travelers of different heights. I'm 5 feet 2 and personally love this feature. Honestly, this handle wins over the competitors in terms of make and usability. It definitely feels much sturdier and adjustable with such ease. I also appreciate that the metal bars for the matte black trunk is also in black for a more streamlined look. If you opt for a lighter colored trunk, the bars will be in steel color. That covers most of the external areas and aesthetic of the check trunk. And since we're going on vacation a couple of days, let's set our code on the latch locks, open the luggage and go through what's inside before we start packing. We have another handle between the latch locks. There are clear and simple instructions on how to set the codes on the two TSA latch locks. Start by switching this downwards and proceed to select your three digit code. Then reposition the side switch back up and to unlatch, simply press the button below. Repeat on the other side. What I do like about the two latch locks is the ability to set two different sets of codes compared to a zip luggage with only three digits. 
it may be more secure to some travelers and I personally like having that option. The lock unlatches with one click and initially having only two locks was a concern in terms of durability. We own a Samsonite that has three lock latches, two on the side and one in front. We never had an issue with it, but with only two, we're hoping this trunk stands the test of time and July does come with a lifetime warranty and servicing options should we need it. Opening the trunk, there are two compartments in an 80-20 lid opening. The deeper section has the Y-strap compression system. The connecting parts seem to be well made. It's important to see how the straps are connected internally because all brands do it slightly different. Full zipper storage that unzips smoothly. And that is just one whole section of the trunk. To give you an idea, it would fit three yoga mats in terms of length and width. The buckle feels solid and well made. Also included are the spot clean sponge and welcome cards. One of the minor concerns I had when considering this trunk is this metal hook on the lid section. And I was worried I might get clothes accidentally pulled on this, but on close inspection, it doesn't have sharp edges and it's actually quite a smooth finish all around. So I don't think this will be an issue. On the lid side of the trunk, you get this amount of space, which will be great for storing shoes. I have to say the internal zip pocket is rather small and in it is a July laundry bag um, that comes included with a zipper closure. I guess I could overlook the size as there's quite a bit of storage in the compression layer of this trunk. Hard casing under the lining material and we've got all these little J's for July monogram on it. So if your name starts with a J like mine, <laughs> that's a plus. It wasn't really a selling point to me, but rather a nice coincidence. So we got two trunks at a savings from the Black Friday sale with free delivery and we opted not to have them personalized. It does pick up on lint and dust, especially more obvious on a matte black surface. Alright, so we are going to start packing to see how much we can fit in our July check trunks. Just to give you an idea, we are going away on a 9 night cruise to the South Pacific Islands. With cruises, we usually overpack so that we have more than enough outfits to cover the duration, activities and events on board and shore excursions. We don't shop much when we're out cruising, maybe just for small souvenirs, but we won't be allocating space for shopping, so our trunks will be full to the brim. We also won't be using packing cells, so just bear in mind that whatever we pack today, there will definitely be extra space if you use packing cubes and organize the space better. So we didn't have any order in how we were packing, we were just filling up our trunks as we go and this is the total amount of items we were able to fit 
Of course, bearing in mind that if you use packing cubes, you'll be able to put more. And the best part about latch lock luggages, you don't have to stretch around to zip it up while struggling to keep the other hand pressing down a full bag. Just close and click. A quick weigh in and with everything in there we are ranging from 23 to 25 kilos. And we are off to embark on our cruise. The trunk rolls so easily and what I love about it being square on top is how it balances your backpack or any soft carry on totes you have. Um, there's plenty of space on top so you don't have to worry about it falling sideways. Fast forward in time and we're back from an amazing voyage. I just wanted to show you the trunks wear and tear. Now this wouldn't be comparable to traveling by air at all. While we did hand over our luggage to be stored and delivered to our cabin, they obviously don't go through the same baggage handling process and they aren't thrown around or falling over conveyor belts. But as you can see, we've got some scuff marks the feet are pretty spotless and generally nothing much to report on the body of the trunk. But I did notice when we took the ferry into the wharf, my trunk picked up a little of the yellow paint um, that was on the platform. So let me try to focus. There we go. So just a little bit of yellow paint which may come off with the sponge cleaner. The wheels are fantastic. We were not super careful with our trunks and lugged it quite a distance to get to the cruise ship, rolling over different surfaces and it's not really showing so much. Travelling with bags that don't require much force to push and pull really adds to the enjoyment of your trip and if anything, I'm just worried the trunk might roll away because these wheels are smooth like butter. So I'm going to try using the sponge to spot clean and see how effective it is on these yellow bits. Looks like it's slowly fading. Okay, I completely missed reading the instructions on the back of the pack. I was meant to wet the sponge before using. So please don't follow my first step and let's see how it goes now with a wet sponge. Much better. I think that looks pretty alright. And to be honest, I don't mind the trunk having scuffs and showing signs of wear. It just means all the more travel has been done, which is a good sign as long as the bag itself doesn't break apart. Since editing this video, one of the trunks has gone on an international return flight and I'm happy to report that it's doing great, so we're really enjoying our July check trunk. Um, I hope you found this unboxing and first impressions helpful if you're in the market for a trunk design. Like I mentioned before, we did a lot of research and in the end decided on July instead of the competitors based on many factors. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. 
If you did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate if you could hit the like button and I'll also be back with a video covering our voyage on Ovation of the Seas. So feel free to subscribe to get notified when that goes up. I hope to catch you in my next one and until then, safe travels everyone.